Tim Lambert with the Texas Homeschool Coalition here. Just wanted to give you a brief update on what's going on in Austin. Uh, late last week, Representative Ron Simmons filed his education savings account in the Texas House. This is a very narrowly drafted bill that would uh, make students with special needs or at-risk students eligible. Uh, this also means that homeschool students, uh, homeschoolers with special needs students would be eligible. So we're looking at that bill. I'm happy to say that they've included language that we asked them to that would uh, clarify in the language of the bill that this bill could not be used to regulate homeschoolers. Uh, so we'll be uh, following up with a, an in-depth analysis on that bill later. This afternoon, Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick and State uh, Senate Education Chairman uh, Larry Taylor, along with other senators, had a, a press conference to announce Senate Bill 3 which is another uh, bill that includes uh, education savings accounts. This bill is uh, much more inclusive. It's going to uh, make this eligible for uh, any student uh, who was had it in the public schools the previous year or students who are first grade or kindergarten. So again, that bill includes language that we asked them to include uh, to clearly uh, point out that nothing in this bill can be used to regulate homeschoolers. So the exciting thing is uh, we are supportive of these bills at this point. We're going to continue to monitor those. Uh, we've been in Austin for three weeks now, and as we have the last 30 years, we're going to continue to closely monitor any legislation. Uh, and if something happens in the process where these bills are amended or changed in any way that would uh, hurt our freedom, we will not only su not support those bills, we will aggressively oppose them. So thank you for uh, tuning in and uh, sign up on our Facebook page or other places to uh, monitor and we'll uh, continue to do our work to help keep Texas families free. And let me just encourage you, I like what Larry Taylor said, don't take our word for it. Go read the bill. You know, don't listen to people, uh, you know, giving their opinion, e even us. Go read the language of the bill. And I think what you'll find is these are simply opt-in measures that give parents more choices. Thanks. God bless.